Hi dear students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. This is Seema Dudley. Welcome to my another video on the topic Internet of Things. In this video, we will discuss about the topic IoT application transport methods. Because of the diverse types of IoT application protocols, there are various means for transporting these protocols across the network and uh, there are different types of IoT application transport methods. First one is application layer protocol not present. Second, supervisory control and data acquisition that is SCADA. Then third one is generic web-based protocols and the last one is IoT application layer protocols. We can check one by one. First one is the application layer protocol not present. In this case, the data payload is directly transported on top of the la lower layers. Here, this uh, application layer protocol is not used. The second is supervisory control and data acquisition. And it is one of the most common industrial protocols in the world. And it has been adapted for IP networks. The third one is generic web-based protocols. Generic protocols such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, 4G, etc. are found on many consumers and enterprises that, is, uh, that are using IoT devices for communication over non-constrained networks. And the last one is the IoT application layer protocols. This IoT application layer protocols are devised to run on constrained nodes. And uh, some of the most commonly used um, this IoT application layer protocols are COAP, MQTT. COAP means constrained application protocol and MQTT means message queuing telemetry transport. We can now check the different pro protocols in detail. That is, first one is the application layer protocol not present. That means it does not contain any common uh, standards. That is, it won't be using TCP IP. That is, uh, the devices that are defined under class zero send or receive only a few bytes of data. And uh, for common reasons such as uh, processing capability, power constraints and cost, these devices do not implement a fully structured network protocol stack. That is uh, this TCP, IP or UDP etc. does not have any of these protocols. The class zero devices are usually simple smart objects that are severely constrained. So for implementing a robust protocol stack is usually not useful and sometimes not even possible with the limited available resources. So uh, we can say for an example, consider a low cost temperature and relative humidity sensor sending data over a LoRaWAN, that is LPWA LoRaWAN infrastructure. The temperature is represented by using two bytes and this relative humidity is by another two bytes. And this, this is a uh, very small data, so it will be um, sent directly transported on the top of the LoRaWAN MAC layer without the use of TCP IP. So when we are using such kind of sensors and actuators, there is no application layer for transporting data from source to destination. That is, there is no any common standards. And at this time, when we are transferring and we are using different kinds of uh, temperature sensors from different manufacturers, it will be uh, sending data. That is, our data transmitting in other different directions. It is a complex task and the solution for this problem is to use an IoT data broker. An IoT data broker is a piece of middleware that standardizes sensor output into a common format 
that can be retrieved by authorized applications. Here is a figure that uh, to represent the IoT data broker. That is, here we'll be having three sensors, that is X, Y, and Z. And these sensors are temperature sensors and they will be generating data without any standard format. And when uh, we use uh, IoT data broker, this data can be uh, put into a common standard format. And the companies can provide access to their data broker from another company's application for a fee. This makes an IoT data broker a possible revenue stream depending on the value of the data it contains. Here is the assignment question. First question, name the IoT application transport methods. Second one, explain application layer protocol not present. 